Hello all and welcome to another episode of Three Blind Bags and this is episode 2 of season 3 of Three Blind Bags and here's how it works just in case you're new to it. Well down here next to me I've got a box full of blind bag products. They're all different in them, no two are the same. What happens is, is without looking I'll pull one out at random at a time and then when I pull that one out at random I'll then have a good look at the pack, analyse the pack, just see what it's got to offer, just see if there's any sort of rare and uncommon available in it. Then after that we'll obviously open the pack, we'll analyse what's inside the pack, have a bit of fun with it. But Perhaps take the mick out of it if it deserves it. Then as the episode goes along, we'll be lining up all these products against the wall of Mega Drive games here. And at the end of the episode, when I've got all three lined up, I must pick a favourite from the three, a champion of the episode, if you will. And that champion of the episode will actually go forward towards an end of year video in December to crown a champion of champions for the year of 2022 for three blind bags once all's said and done. So with all that said and done, let's indeed have the right hand disappear into the box. We'll give it a bit of a shuffle give it a bit of shuffle give it a good shuffle turn things upside down and all that sort of stuff and we've got something feels a little bit papery it is is oh i didn't see the b for a start there is a i love bunnies not i love bunnies cute figures and they're back i say and they're back is because I, I this is even the third or the fourth time i've had animals that are I love and then something and cute figures i've had llamas definitely definitely had sloths uh, I think something else as well. So this might be the fourth time I've had something. It just, it just seems every time I go into a news agent and they've got I love. It's it's a different animal. But anyway, there they all are. Look, I'm so fuzzy. And this one's waving. This one is just saying I'm so fuzzy with its head tilted to try and come across as cute. And there's a green one just sitting in the background. So we get one figure plus sticker, as said in very small letters in the bottom left-hand corner there. Uh, by the good people at the top. So then we've got carrots dotted around because they're rabbits and they eat carrots. As, you know, like Bugs Bunny does. Very cliche. Right, so on the back here we've got some... Oh, that's just some one of them. That, uh, yeah, it's basically just showing you a figure and a sticker, which is what we get. And the sticker obviously will match the figure. And here's the gang that we can get. Let's have a look at them all. Hudson, first name perhaps Jennifer. Uh, Keegan, first name perhaps Kevin. Uh, Heather, perhaps Mills McCartney. We've got Jaden, uh, yep, yeah, pass. Uh, Saffron and Ginger. It's a bit worrying that they're named after herbs. Do we, do we cut these ones up and put them on beef? Ooh, mm, that just took a dark green turn. Right, uh, Lumi. Yeah, whatever. Is that even a... Na is that even a word? What? Okay, right. Oh, we've got some rare ones there. Right, um... Distracted. Amy with two E's at the end. I'm sorry, I'm I'm an A-M-Y when it comes to spelling that name. I don't get it. Right, uh, Bradley. Uh, Walsh. Flora. Uh, Butter. Oh, dear. Well, oh, no. Right, uh, Ruben. Uh, we've got Tulip there, who is probably from Amsterdam. There we go. Made that... Uh, made that assumption just because of Tulip. Oh, God. A rabbit from Amsterdam that's pink. Mm, she might be quite rampant. Uh, anyway, moving on from a rather erotic turn, we've got Sparkle and Twinkle being the rare ones there. And one's silver and one gold. I wonder if they actually sparkle and twinkle. And they're, they're very unimaginative names. But anyway, I think it's time to open this I Love Bunny cute figure and see which one we get. Will we get one of the rare ones? Who do we want? Who do we want? I kind of like Ruben's sit-down winky pose there. It's, it's very mischievous, isn't it? It's quite cute. But uh, obviously, you wouldn't mind one of the red, the rare ones. Uh, I do like that combination of orange and purple ears, actually, on ginger. But uh, to be honest, it doesn't really matter who we get. I think they're all much of a much. This would be pretty cool to try and get one of the rare ones. So let's go for that. Let's not pull the sticker out. Let's go straight for the figure, because the sticker will ruin who it is. And it, it... Oh, my days. We pulled a rare one, haven't we? We've only gone and bloody pulled a rare one. That is the silver one of the rare ones. That is Sparkle. How rare are these? How much can I get for these on eBay? No, it's not my first thought. Honest. There we go. Sparkle. Complete with sticker. Do you know what? This is plasticky. I had It says on there, I'm so fuzzy. And the ones I've had in the past haven't been any of the rare and uncommon ones. And, of course, have been fuzzy. And, if anything, being solid plastic actually takes away from the figure actually much nicer and cuter if i want to use that terminology if she was actually i'm going with she if she was actually made of the fuzzy stuff that sounds really wrong but um yeah i can't believe i <laughs> don't often pull rare and uncommon stuff out packs and uh, when i do it's a bunny oh we've got uh, got a little thing here on the back 
that just tells us who they all are. So, yeah, let's have a look at eBay afterwards. I mean, let's put that in the collection for, for life because bunnies are for life and not just for YouTube videos. Right, okay, <laughs> back into the box for a, for a second blind bag. There's good maths for you. I know the second one comes after the first one. Right, uh, let's go for it. What we got here? What we got here? It's it's upside down, uh, um, and it's Micro Morphers Power Rangers Series Two. Obviously bought from Game at some point for two pounds and ninety nine pence. So Power Rangers Micro Morphers. Uh, I'm, do you know what? So I, I I'm gonna struggle here. Apart from being a ranger and saying what color it is, I'm gonna struggle with any form of character character recognizing we get two in here just not, look times two we get two in here oh great we're gonna have to pick a favorite from the pack to be in the wall of favorites this is first time territory for this ep for this episode for this series normally it's just a singular product and and that's what we get and we've not even opened that properly but we've made it easier to open without scissors jesus christ rob right so piece of paperwork is this just don't sue us don't eat us don't choke on us um just a warning, yeah, that's nothing special. Over the head that goes, we'll find that in a minute. And we're apparently going to get two of these. We've got, what the hell is that? I th I didn't think it would just be a one colour jellyish looking mould. So what the other one is, oh, that's a little bit better. No, that's a hell of a lot better. This, this, is it something really, there's no paperwork in there. To say who we can get, how, how many we can get, what, you know. If you want to sell these... Give us a collector's list so we know what to collect. Who is this dude here? If you're in a Power Ranger and you know, then please let me know what his name is. I, I, don't, I feel like it should be some sort of pun on weightlifting. God knows what's gone on with this eye. You need to see a doctor about that. I don't know who this fella is. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. It's not great. It's a bit, it, well, it's certainly better than this, but it's not. All right. It's, I keep saying it's okay. It's not. It's not great, to be honest with you. Don't know. It just doesn't. It seems quite cheaply made as well. Not. It doesn't seem of the greatest quality. Certainly no silver rabbit. You know what I mean. This. This. This can just get in the bin. I mean, we'll put them both in the wall, in the wall. But we'll put that behind this dude here because, just on the fact that he's got some colour into him, and he, he looks a kind of cool character. It looks like he could potentially be kind of a, a cool villain. I'm assuming he is a villain with that sort of face. Um. Yeah. And obviously it's not Power Ranger. But no, 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 not impressed with that. Not impressed with that in the slightest. Right, so let's give the, the box another shuffle and hope for something a little bit better. Right, what have we got here? You'll do. You're, you're upside down as well. And why is this why is everything now coming in pairs all of a sudden? I've never had anything in a pair in a blind bag, and all of a sudden I get two pulled out which have pairs of stuff. Well, we've got two cards and dice. Per foil pack. Collect all 124 cards. Cards in a blind bag. You only get two. There's 124. So you need to buy 62 packs of these. Without getting doubles. To do the set. And I'm pretty sure. This was 99p. And I don't even know that was full RRP when I bought it. But anyway we've got X-Men. Dice Masters. X-Men First Class Dice Masters. They're all wearing the same suit is the first thing that jumps out to my mind. Perhaps they got a good job lock deal at Primark. I don't know. So I guess for, for, for this, we'll have to pick a favourite dice and a favourite card. And they sort of go as a duo towards the end of your video if they make it or champion the episode. So um, anything else on here? What have we got? Oh, I'm glad they'll tell us who they are. Because if they're a secondary character or lower, I'm going to struggle. Because that's just my knowledge on Marvel. That's where we're at. And the dice, the dice look kind of cool, I suppose. Are they just regular dice numbered one to six? Are they for some sort of game where you need like 12 sided dice? I don't know. Let's get this open and just see what these are all about. I think that's the, the obvious thing I need to do. Right. There's the, uh, should we go for the, let's, right, right, let's go for the dice first just because they're in my hand and together. So we've got, um, yeah, we've got a dice which, oh, right. So, that's the one, that's the two, that's also two, that's two five five, and I'm now very confused as that's three six six. Why is their numbers are you know adding up to fifteen on a dice? Uh, what have we got on this one? Is this one two four two? Two lightning bolts, one line but it's obviously got its own game. Right, I'm guessing there's gonna be perhaps some images on these cards which tie up to those thunderbolts and things like that just in case you need a spare black card blank card um 
it's definitely not a black card. It's white and it's got instructions on. Keywords and symbols in mice, marvel, mice, mice. Jesus Christ, just combined marvel and dice. And called it Mice Masters. Right. In Marvel Dice Masters. X-Men First Class. Right. Team of... Jesus. Oh, we've got to learn shit here. That's not, oh, right. Okay. So, when fielded, spin all other active characters' dice to level one. This is Jean Grey, who's wearing the Prime Arnie suit there. And this is Boom Boom. Jean Grey, Boom Boom. Ugh, Jesus Christ. Ugh, these are naff. I'm sorry. I mean, it's literally just to play a game, isn't it? These are not even good quality cards. Then they're honestly rubbish. So if they're a collector's card, they're not of the highest quality. The dice ain't even of great quality as well. They feel proper cheap and nasty. But if they were a pound retail price, I suppose, you know, four items for a quid. I'm trying to find positives here. But yeah, you roll the dice and I don't know. You could obviously you only roll one, I guess. This dice ties up to this card, and this dice ties Are there different games within? I have so many questions. I'm not buying more of these. So we roll the dice, but what we got there? We've got the double lightning bolt. So we've got two lots of double lightning bolts. So I don't know. Do you have to cross them all off? Really don't know. I, re I should read this. I should read this. But what I'm going to do is hold it, hold it here. And if you wish to read this, you can pause it. There we go. Because I don't. I don't. I think my interest in this is already passed. And there's, and there's no instructions on the back or anything like that. Right. Okay. Well, a favourite from the cards... It's probably better, but this has got a funnier name. We'll go with the artwork rather than the funny name. Sort of head over heart sort of thing. And then basically we pick them between a red and a black dice. Uh, I just think the black dice looks a bit cooler. So there's your there's your winner from the pack. And lucky to lose in, in a pack of that quality. You are that bad. Right. Got a bit of chat with the episode. And I don't like giving it to rare and uncommon stuff. Just because they're rare and uncommon stuff, but I think was it Twinkle or Sparkle? What well, I can't even remember. I think Sparkle actually wins it for for everything that's come out of here. These are cheap and nasty. They're, they're crap. I was gonna say even really low quality cardboard on a card. And these, yeah, uh, that one's really bad. Not really a big fan of that. This is actually well molded and looks very nice, and can go on eBay for perhaps making some money. No, I keep saying that. I can't help it. You get rare and common out of, the, of a pack. You think, wow, she's rare and common. This must be worth a fortune. And then you start thinking, I wonder what I get for this on eBay. Or is that just me? Anyway, I think Sparkle is a clear winner for quality and just everything. Uh, saying that she's a winner for quality over these two items isn't a big, a big, yeah, credit to her. But no. I think you're a worthy winner of this episode, certainly. And you will go forward towards the end of the year video, so I can't say you to December. There we go. <laughs> then you'll be for Christmas as well. Right, so anyway, there's your winner. If you do disagree, please say so in the comment section below. If you wish, that would be awesome. I do love a bit of genuine interaction. If you have enjoyed this little video, then hit your thumbs up would be awesome. If you're new to the channel and you like blind bag openings, there's plenty of them on this channel do have a whole series of this obviously this is season three so it's quite a few episodes should you wish to watch blind bag openings on this channel so consider subscribing if you're not subscribed already anyway waffling on long enough here thank you very much for watching and as always please do take care